everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 83 of Oda Nobunaga's campaign, and currently we are taking over this one, we're taking over that one. Uh, who are, who is in here? Oh, okay, so that means we can send this guy over too. Okay, uh, so we should have Minowa soon. Okay, let's see how Torashiga is doing. Oh, he's... Oh, that's still Date, okay. So once uh, we take over this one, then we swing around and take over this one, and then we'll wait up, and then we'll take Shibata with... Uh... We'll take Shibata with three troops. So Minowa should be taken soon. Stop here. Who was the one? Oh, this guy. This guy stopped. Okay. Uh, we can then uh, send him onward to here. Oh, let's help take this one out. Hawkeye trait. <laughs> so I've gained the desperation trait. Okay. Uh, Did we? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we had... What uh, I was looking for is did we reprovision? So apparently we did. I've obtained a fortitude trait. The heavens will <clears throat> hear of my might. <laughs> Harvest is wide and bountiful. Okay. 
Whoa, lots of our countries have it. Yes. Yes, we've been promoting harvest all this time anyway. Ouch. The power of the charismatic trait. Gift of how much? Uh, Nine thousand five hundred gold from our supporting tribes. We've got to gain the harvest of a million three hundred. Wow. Okay. Uh, time to. So Minowa Castle is yeah. We need to staff it with a uh, with a smart, very smart guy. Toyama, Oyama, do we have anybody still in Gifu? Uh, Yoshishige Satake. He's very smart, but he's red. We can send this guy over. <clears throat> Yoshiteru Ashikage. I think Hosokawa should be good. Uh, Satomi. And then let's support him with because uh, Minowa will have will require a couple of Ashikaga Yoshitsuge Satake. Uh, Okay, and then uh, this is a small castle, Liyama, a small fortress rather. We still have a lot of smart guys with us. <laughs> uh. <sighs> we still need to send more guys to Minoa. I think we have a couple of smart guys over here that are Uh, 
that's a tough guy. Seventy two. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we anybody else? Oh, we took two more, huh? This guy is Should we send them, uh, that's the one, yeah, we'll send them, uh, sidekicks. See, this is part of the administration things that we have to do to keep our empire Nuita. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I guess that's it, right? Okay. Uh, and then we need to identify them. Minoa? Okay, that's it. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of maintenance. Ooh, rice is down to 9.5. We can buy those things back at 11.4. Well, let's let it go down a little more. Uh, we can buy more muskets. And then, uh, I think, yeah, back to uh, maintenance. See, as our empire grows bigger, this maintenance work uh, will eat up a lot of the recording time, of the episode rather. But at least we are, I guess, no, I mean, that is part of a growing empire. That's, uh, can't rule a, an empire from a horseback. Who was the one who said that? Uh, I think that was the first emperor who said it. I, I'm not sure. It's like Napoleon might have said it too. I, lots of people who 
very brilliant people actually understood that uh, managing an empire is very different from conquering it. Uh, the biggest example would be the Mongols. They uh, they had a huge swath of, uh, but they couldn't hold on to it. Uh, they had to break it up among the uh, relatives. It's just very hard to govern govern it. Uh, even the uh, Roman Empire, Constant Constant King uh, Emperor Constantine broke it into east and west because it's so huge. And they don't have communication. The uh, communication is actually hard. So by the time the emperor's will gets to the uh, governor from the east, uh, from the east to the west, you know the situation. Or you know, if, assuming the western half, Western Roman Empire, let's just uh, something happens in in Italy. And uh, it requires the governor in Italy ha requires help from uh, Turkey, Istanbul, or Constantinople. Uh, so by the time the message is sent, it gets to Constantine, maybe what three weeks to a month, and then uh, and then you have to let's say assuming, assuming there's a Gothic invasion. So by the time Constantine can send an army back. To help them, first they're already three weeks behind, and then you have to have the logistics, uh, organizing the army, and then sending it over, march it over. By the time they get back to uh, Italy, the Goths would have taken, sacked, and uh, totally decimated uh, the Italian peninsula. So. It's yeah. It is really hard to manage a big empire, and I think the uh, Mongols have a fast courier service that uh, has a I think which the uh, Pony Express followed or copied in the U.S. was that yeah they had stations that actually catered to uh, getting the message across the territory. And they have relay stations, and then the riders just keep on going, just swap horses, just keep going. And yeah, we copied that here in the U.S. with the Pony Express, and uh, it worked uh, for a while. And then uh, you can use crows, pigeons, or whatever. But the message they carry is very small. It's not you cannot have a lengthy message, unless there's a code already involved, like uh, code red, like we have an invasion, or something, or plague, or code black for a plague, or something, or a um, what do you call this a a drought or a flood or something. It uh, again for logistical reasons it's very hard unless the governors are already semi-independent but then uh, how do you balance semi-independence with uh, like what's happening in Japan right now that the daimyos start, started fighting each other and unless uh, the shogun is strong enough to have his edict uh, followed uh, if the daimyos like when we started the game the daimyos were much stronger than Ashikaga like uh, the Hojo uh, the Takedas and even the uh, Nobunagas uh, they were stronger the the Dates all of these all the daimyos were all stronger than Ashikaga and so the Shogun was just in name only uh, <clears throat> so when you start having your our empire, let's say, <coughs> sorry, have have different governors running it for us. Then you get into that situation where pretty soon your governors are the one uh, running the place for you. Kumine, okay. We we'll just oh, that's triple E. Oh, that's definitely a D.
No, 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 no. Hot Springs. F E F. F F F. Uh, e F F. F F F. Uh, Ogo Castle. Let's go with D. <clears throat> oh, we have not changed Katsurao that much, huh? We're going to check on Katsurao, eh? And we change a lot of the uh, focus here. We change it to this one, we change it to we'll do it quarry. Because we require quarries, I think that's part of our mission for the copulation and copulations we need more mines so we don't have those mines okay let's keep going Okay, uh, why is, what's Oda doing here? this guy Yeah, sometimes I use the wrong button, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, do we get the Numata castle yet? No. Uh, there's one guy we want to assass, uh, to kill off here, right? The guy's name is uh, Awa? Or is this one? Yeah, this guy. This is the guy we want to kill off. Uh, Yoshikage for being stupid, right? <laughs> for leaving us going to a Numata. Uh, yeah, Ashikage. He's dead. He's dead. I remember him. And then the Awa, we, you know, the Awa actually got away from us. So I forgot about Awa.
You know, is that it? Does, do they have any more? Oh, there's one up here. What's this one up here? Uh, how big is it? You know what? Let's do that as the last one. pass right through like this can they pass right through let's see if they can just pass right through and take this Have we found anyone who knows how to couple? Yes, my liege, I have called them to our quarries. Now we should be able to create pure gold and silver. This will increase the income we get from mines. Add two or more quarries. Adapt copulation accomplished. Wakizaka Wakizaka Okay, we will remember Wakizaka, huh? <laughs> Wakizaka, what a Waki name. We've gained uh, 1,600 horses from our allies. Oh, from our riding schools, okay. Okay, uh, I guess this would be a good place to uh, cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Uh, so they can actually go through. Okay, um, so they, they went through. Oda-san and uh, Yoshitsune, yeah, they'll take this. And then this guy can Who's this guy? Uh Torashige? Yeah, you can take this one. I doubt if they have thirty uh fifteen thousand. It just says they're fifteen thousand. That's okay, we'll take that one. And then who's this guy? He'll follow on. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.